Hi, this is Shandra with Super Happy Scrapper, and I'm here to go through um, some simple things that you will need to make a mini album um, from start to finish. These are my favorite things. You can use other things, other brands, whatever. Um, so first, put this to the side. I cannot make a mini album without my cutter. Obviously, this is the Fiskars cutter, and it has a six and a half inch um, bed, and I love it. And it's well used and painted on and very, very, very dirty. And then I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And this is my second one. The first one, this little door broke. So I said, okay, I'll get another one. And the second one's door broke off too. So... I think that I'll just keep on using this one. This is a Stampin' Up! score tool. I love it um, for this because it has two different sides. The actual score tool that came with this, I think, sucks. Um, this is a Stampin' Up! bone folder, which I like because it's not super pointy like the Martha Stewart bone folder. So it doesn't rip your paper when you're scoring um, the pages like that. But again, I try to use this bone folder or um, this score tool. So you will need a bone folder regardless of how you score your thing. Um, I always have a ruler. Um, this one's a Tim Holtz ruler. I like it um, because it's clear. It has a centering ruler and you can also cut um, on the side because this side has the metal band on it. I always use an X-Acto knife for when I'm like mitering corners that I can't get to. A pair of scissors. I often round my corners with the We Are Memory Keeper Corner Chomper. I do use my ATG gun when I'm attaching the pattern paper to the pages, but I don't use it to actually assemble my album. For the pages, I use score tape. You can use the red line tape. Um, there's a couple different brands. I like the score tape um, because you can just rip it. And the red line tape, you have to cut, and that's just, I'm just too lazy for that. Um, you can also use wet glue. I have Aileen's Tacky Glue. Um, I usually distress, if not my pages, then I always distress the edges of my paper. So I always use either Vintage Photo, Black, or Walnut Stain are the three that I normally use. And then chipboard. This is the medium weight, I don't know if you can tell the thickness of it. This is the medium weight chipboard. You can order at uh, walmart.com. And it's like $9 for 25 sheets. Or you can use cereal boxes. And what you would do is you would just glue the two sheets together to create the thickness of, it's just a little bit thinner than the actual chipboard here. But it still works um, for a cover. You can use three sheets if you want. I usually use um, the Recollections brand cardstock and they used to sell the 12 by 12 in the craft and now they do not. So depending on the album that I'm making, I'll either use eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12. Most of the albums that I design, I design them out of using the eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock just because they're more readily available, I think, than the 12 by 12s. And that's what you will need, the supplies that you'll need to make a mini album. I'm going to do a series of simple um, mini album making from start to finish so that if you're new to making mini albums or you're not an expert at it or you've only done one, then hopefully you can learn some stuff um, from these classes. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.